Hey guys, I'm Comedy Turtle, and you are watching, well I'm not sure what to call this segment really, but it's where I try different foods. Join me today is the king of the thirsty nerd. It's just king, yeah, it's me, it's your boy, what's up? Nerds, don't know who they are? Check them out on podcast. Yeah, just look up Thirsty Nerds Podcast. See what you think? What they do? Us? Yeah, what do you do? What we do? Yeah. Uh, we basically talk about nerd stuff. We I talk about film. My two other friends talk about video games. And my other friend talks about comic books. And it's our respective fields. I'm an upcoming filmmaker. He's a comic artist. My other friend is a runner in tournaments and stuff. Track and tournaments. So, it's mm. all, yeah. Interesting. We pal around and have fun. So, just come check us out. Rate us. That's it. And tell them to get on YouTube. One day. You know you want to get on YouTube. They're hour long episodes. It takes forever for them to render. Forever. What's the point? That's just continue with yours. Okay, we're talking about hi, this is Kami's thing. Uh, if you have any suggestions for I what I should call this segment, let me know in the comments below. Uh, anyways, today we're trying two things. Except the uh, one thing we tried last time. Okay, here we have two mystery snacks. That we actually got from our uh, Asian market near, near the Donald E. Convention Center, uh, the Donald E. Stephens Convention Center, where they were hosting MFF this year, aka Midwest Fur Fest. So we got mochi. And taro flavor. I'm not sure what the, the brand this is. I expect to get a picture of the box, so you can find it later if you want to. Uh, we also have my favorite chip chips. Chippy. Man. Well, shrimp crackers. They're not shrimp chips. My bad. Yeah. So we're going to be trying these and rating them. Yeah. So if you're, you're, you're going to nipple, or I don't know what the what, what round for nipple. Yes. Nibble or yes. Yes. We'll score this on a one to five scale. Okay, yes. L1 being, I'm not going to touch these things with a 10 foot pole again. Mm -hmm. And then 5 being, this is my new favorite thing. Yeah, it's right. Okay. Alright, which one do you want to try first? Uh, let's go with the shrimp mm, crackers. Yeah. Since we tried something similar to that last time. No. Alright. I'm going to help. Very shrimpy. Yeah. I'm going to help Kami because. He is, he's, yeah, I'm all he's deep. in the phones right now with his fingers. So, right. chip, set, and we have iron going to apply it. Hmm. 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 How much flavor? It tastes more like shrimp than usual. Because I say this is my favorite because I've had ones that are called shrimp chips before, another brand or whatever. And this one just had a shrimp one. It's very, I can taste the shrimp. What do you think? I can taste the fake shrimp, but not really a whole lot. Yeah. Okay, second go around, let's go. Ah. No, oh, there you go. Stronger shrimp flavor. I guess you got a, a better, better seasoned one that time. Yeah, it's just it's ex, it tastes exactly what it says on the cover. Mm. It, it tastes, tastes like, like shrimp. shrimp. It tastes like shrimp, but it's not with the shrimp, you know, oomphness. Like if you're eating a shrimp, so it's like hollow, hollow in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah, you sure it's not hollow because of the crackers? That could but it's, look. It's not. I wouldn't call these crackers. It's a puff. Is a shrimp puff. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Obviously, the turtle really likes it. Do, sh do, do, do turtles eat shrimp? Depending on species of turtle. Are you a species of turtle that eat shrimp? Yes. Now that I mention it, I'm a universal turtle. Huh. 
Now, I'm a species of turtle that is a hybrid between every single species of turtle ever. So you're a big melting pot? Yes, I'm a turtle pot. So you're a big mutt? Yes. You're a big mutt. Mutt boy. Mutt I like big mutt and I cannot lie. Stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, well, with this, do you want to try another one or you kind of have a, a sense of what this uh, is? I think I have a score. Okay. Alright, what's your score? I would give it like a... Remember one being a... I'm not going to touch this with the 10-foot pole again. Mm -hmm. And five being... That's my new favorite thing. Um, I will go with a three. Like, they're okay. But I don't think I would go... I would think I would go with my usual brand of shrimp chips, but not these shrimp uh, crackers. Those shrimp crackers. So, so three. That's... I personally feel like they're a three as well. Mm. They're not all there for me. Like, and maybe if we had some cocktail sauce or something to go with it. Add some more oomph to the flavor, you know, because it's just hollow shrimp tasting without yeah. the shrimp. And if these are your favorite things in the world, don't buy our heads off. Yeah. If you feel like you want to try them yourself, go for it, I guess. Yeah. I can tell, like, I guess this would be good for, like, if you're just watching TV. If you just want something to just munch on, you can munch on these forever. Just I or mean, until the day runs out. Yeah, and if you really like shrimp, I guess if you like the aftertaste of smell, smell, oh, shrimp, because you're gonna get that with this. And true. Yeah. Uh, that being said, if you're allergic to seafood or shellfish, that's not a snack for you. No, I I'm not sure how much actual shrimp they put in, but I wouldn't risk it. No. I can't avoid. Well, it's mostly wheat. Hmm. It's contained. Oh, no. Shrimp. There's shrimp in it. So, no, don't do it. So it's contained. Yeah, shrimp. Hmm. No, it's still... What shrimp does it? Well, it's, it's, if it's, well, that's an ingredient that's what contains. So, I'm guessing since it's the second, it's the second most with it. Oh, it is all anchovy. Yeah, and anchovy. Yeah, so it's eating two seafood people. So, no. So, if you are allergic, this is not a substitute or anything. I wouldn't risk it. Risk it. Risk it. Risk it. Yeah. I'm like, risk it? Yeah, that. I wouldn't risk it. Okay. You can risk it like me. Like I said, I wouldn't risk it. I, I don't think you would risk it. No, I don't think, I don't think I would risk it. I know what I said. I'm fine yeah. with that. Once again, if you're allergic to shellfish or seafood, don't try it and then blame us. Don't blame him. This is his channel. I'm just visiting. I wasn't here. Blame him. No, don't blame me. It's the taro flavored mochi. Mm. We thought it was in the store and like, well, but you don't like mochi. Yeah. Mm. We're going to try this. I never had, I don't think I've, I think I may have had a package like this. I don't think so. Mochi is pretty good than the other time, so I don't know. It's not flavors are hit and miss with us. But then again, we're Westerners, so. Yeah, we don't know. We American. You know, what we know. Don't, uh, don't worry. We haven't actively grew up with a lot of the ingredients. True. Then again, there's a lot of ingredients we grew up with that that had the people in, in Japan or, or some other Asian, Asian country would not have grown up with. Exactly. It all really depends. Which I guess maybe is kind of better because that means we get like a pure look at it instead of, you know, already have gotten used to it for so long. At the same time, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, why don't we try something that uh, is supposed to be a unique flavor? Uh, and we just say, oh, this is like such and such uh, because it's something we ate in the US. Good point. Finally, the has broken out two pieces. Hey, it's just like it yes. took a while. The munchie. There it is. Yes. Now we just need Genki. Monster Rancher reference there, folks. I'm so sad about the games and how they make your characters die. And, and you got the munchie. Oh. Now I got the munchie. It's gonna take a bit. There's a lot of munchie. Yum, yum, yum. I 
actually really like it. It's very, it's like a sweet gooeyness that I like. I like the, I, love, I like the inside, um, uh, filling and everything. So, yeah, I'm gonna get another. What about you? That's, well, duplicate me, but mm -hmm. I don't really care for it. Oh, really? I know you've had, like, uh, like what, frozen munch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You would say that's, that's, that's way better than just, like... For me, anyway. Mm -hmm. So, for this one, I'm giving it another three. It's okay, but not really my thing. Mm -hmm. I will give it a four. I think it's pretty up there. I will eat it again. I think it's my new best thing or whatever. And I still need to try the frozen one. I don't really think I've had it before. But right now, this is pretty good. It was just like a little sweet treat. It would definitely feel like it'd be better with other things. Not eating by yourself. Alright guys. Yes. If you have anything you think I should try, mm -hmm. let me know in the comments below. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, if you like what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications for when next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. What kind of comment? That is my question. Oh, or not. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here. And try to check out their, their podcast. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Johnny.